single time, otherwise I get bleeped off. property when I was in between uh, one property and the next property the house whatever it's okay you come on over well I told her I was like <laughs> I had to deal with the fact that if you pick this up if you pick if you pick this up it whether it be a piece of trash or rock literally it had to have my name on it or a symbol and it was either purple, yellow, pink, or orange. And if it was labeled that or and it didn't have my signature on it, it it's not mine. 
But if it did add that, it's mine. Because someone in my family decided to steal all the time. Mm -hmm. I had to deal with that all my life. And, she, you know, she, she, she's, oh, I would never, I would, this is, this is the person I'm speaking of. This is how she acts. I would never do such a thing, ever. Oh my God, April, why would you say such a thing? Ugh. Like, well, because I have it on videotape, I know. And you've been stealing with me, stealing from me all my life. My first house, you know, that's where I helped raise Andrew. And um, she, she had the audacity to go steal this gun of mine. It was a gun from World War I. And it was bent. It did not work. But she didn't know that. She didn't know that. And she was suicidal, what have you. And I come home one day and she's on my front uh, lawn. And I pull up and she's, Oh my God, I'm going to kill myself. Like she's done before. PTSD on that one. I have uh, no respect. Sorry. Anyways, um, so I grabbed the gun. She didn't know that it, it didn't work. It, it is bent, whatever. It was just a novelty at that point in time. It was a savior, it was a keepsake. And it wasn't mine. It was my ex it was my husband's at the time. But it where she would have had to find it was literally all the way at the top of my closet and I I had a house that was built in 1952 so it was a weird closet it was nicely weird it, it was like deep open space above the closet we need to go back to that where you could put packages and boxes and, and storage you know like Christmas packages she had to go the tail end of this huge opening cabinet to find this gun. She, so she's sitting on the front lawn with it in her hand saying that she's going to kill herself. Ugh. I grabbed the gun out of her hand and I said, you know what? You need to go. Stop stealing from me. Stop doing this shit to me. April, why would you do that? Oh my God, I was going to kill myself. I was like, you're just looking for attention for one, you know? What do you want? Uh, want to steal more stuff from me? Uh, what? It, it, like when I was pregnant with Thomas, my my first son, she goes, oh, I'm, I'm taking these bathing suits from you because you're always going to be fat. You're never going to get skinny again. And the only way she got skinny was because she did drugs. And, oh, I'm telling the truth. So her... Everyone's like mad at me. You know? Do I care? Nope. Because the truth sucks. The truth hurts. Chang Chang. And then I told my client, or my friend, another friend of mine, I was like, yeah, she'd be like, she would get a hold of something. She goes, oh, you know, this looks, this looks vaguely familiar. April, why? And she always said my name. That's why I always, I hate it when people say, April, you could say my name, but don't be saying it in vain. April, um, why does this look so familiar? And why is it in your house? I'm like, yeah, it was made in China. It's a candle, and you need to go, like, right now. Like, right now. Otherwise, because she'd be, like, stealing it. She'd be like, oh, look at this. I know, this This looks familiar, too. Why do you have it in your house? It's, it's mine. At one point in time. Really? That's, that's what I dealt with all my motherfucking life. Uh-uh. Not going to do that no more. Mm. Put it away. Because I was like, oh yeah, you can come over to my, my second house. 
because I completely forgot about the whole stealing part. You know, we'd been separated for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, also, when I moved onto the property, I mean, seriously, I still get vaguely angry about looking at a shovel that says my name on it. Because I had to. She would have stole it. Who steals a shovel? She, or a rock. I'm not kidding you. You pick up a, you come to my property and you pick up a bucket. It has, it usually has a, a symbol or a splash of color on it. That's an indication of mine. So she couldn't steal it. Well, April, she came to me. April, why is your um, name on all of uh, the tools? Why is your name on everything? And I'm like, there's a reason. At first, I was like nice about it. I was like, um, well, because uh, things get misplaced. And I don't know. I just thought that I would do that. Acting like a pure idiot. You know, like oblivious to. I'm looking at a shovel now. So I'm going to go around this whole entire ranch and all of my stuff and take it all off. Because if I see it, if I, when I look at it, it bugs me. Wouldn't that bug you too? If you had a graffiti, every single thing you freaking own. I don't know where I was going with this, but it, it was because I was interrupted the whole entire time from someone I was trying to talk to and, um, from raising children to raising five kids to the reason why I did was because, you know, they chose drugs over their children. Sometimes they wouldn't even come home. Sad, huh? True story. You can't make that shit up. Sadly. That's the sad part. Stay. You can't make certain things up. You can't make stories up. I can't make stories up. And the only... The on the only thing I ever talk about is myself, but sometimes it comes out when someone asks me a question. I have to tell you, you know, I'm going to. Oh my God. Boys and girls of all ages. I got a couple of <laughs> But you got to see these. Look how cute these are. Look how cute those are. They're like little... They're on sale. I went in to go pay my bill. And I didn't really go through the whole entire thing. But I... Look. They're all 60% off. Look at these. And they they're they're wiggly. Look. They they they're bendable. Like seriously. And they're lightweight, so they don't hurt your ear. Look, look at that. Yeah. I paid six dollars. I know I paid six dollars for one of them. Okay, which one? Six dollars for this one. I paid six dollars for this one. I have the receipt. Oh, and some, some. Uh, it's it's called. <laughs> it smells like coconuts. Aloe coconut. Okay. I didn't need that really, but it smelled good. It does smell good. So I'm over the rant. 
I had so much to say. I don't even know. I go ADD. I have a problem. Oh, I have a soda I didn't drink. No wonder my bag's heavy. I have a soda I didn't drink. Yeah. What? Okay. So I got this. I got that. I don't know. Someone's trying to contact me right now. And I just want to go in and be by myself. Hang out. And do my own thing. Once again, I want to be single. I want to be by myself. Have you ever done that? I'm not desperate to have any type of relationship. And someone's like, oh, let's hang out. And I'm like, eh. Okay. But it's only one particular person. Have you ever had one of those? Yeah. Oh, these are cute. You gotta get these pairs. Look how cute these are. They're just no name brand. Well, I gotta wear glasses to look at the glasses. Hold on. I gotta wear glasses to wear, look at the glasses. Nanette Lapato. Lanette Pato. Half of it's worn off. Just look up Lynette, cat eye. <coughs> or Jones of New York. I'll show you Jones of New York. Jones of New York. Oh, this is Jones of New York. No. Anyways, there's Jones of New Look up Jones of New York, cat eye. If you need glasses. If you don't need prescription glasses, like I'm I'm not ready for prescription glasses. I have re driving glasses. But my doctor says, well, you can cheat for a while. Give it another year. It's like, okay. Because they're expensive. <laughs> they are. Anyways, boys and girls of all ages, I gotta go. I've wasted too much time of your time. Love you all. Peace out.